do this. Let's start here with Jimmy. Yeah. Jimmy Garoppolo. Um, it's it's probably aside from Deshaun Watson the mo- and Baker Mayfield, the most talked about uh, position slash other guy in the league this year for a guy who's been to two NFC Championship games in the Super Bowl the last three years. So let, let me tee up right there. If you were the 49ers, do you keep him? I would. I would keep him, Sean. Like, I don't think you have to rush Trey Lance, and I'm not saying that they are. They obviously have cut the cord, but they can afford both. I know they got Nick Bowes the next year to deal with and to pay and, you know, but I, I would keep him. Like, he's just been a winner. Uh, he knows whatever role you want to use with him. I would just keep him right now. The way the situation is, and look, he had the sur- surgery in mid-March. Like, you know, that was a factor. You know, he wasn't healthy when all this quarterback carousel was spinning. He wasn't healthy. And so, you know, that's just, it, it's not his fault. It's just the way things fell. But they're not going to get anything for him right now if they try to trade him. There's no trade value right now. Everybody's got their starters. I've been to Seattle, and I've talked to John Schneider and those guys up there, Sean. They're not going after Jimmy G right now, even though Drew Locke did not play well against Dallas. Uh, They look committed to what they have. And so then you're just waiting for an injury. And if you just wait and you keep them on the roster, you got to pay them at least, you know, week one. And so you might as well just keep them right now as an insurance, an expensive insurance policy. And if, because the team around the quarterback is, is very, very good, but I understand they've cut the cord. I just think it'd be a mistake if you, if you end up taking a, a salary cap hit and just releasing them and a month from now, having regrets about doing that and somebody right. else picks them up. All right, Baldy, think about this. I think they have a Super Bowl caliber roster. The Rams, I mean, doing it two years in a row to win it, it's tough to do. Yeah. And we can, I mean, I'm, when you look around the NFC with the offensive line in Tampa and the loss of Devontae Adams with, with uh, Aaron, and like I said, repeating, I mean, there's a lot around the league to question in the NFC. So back to the 49ers with a great player at about six or seven different positions and well coached. All right. Let's say Trey's great and he very well could be. We know, we, we both know he's a gifted kid. He just hadn't mm-hmm. played a lot. And if you think you're a Super Bowl team, Jimmy hasn't been a distraction to players in the locker room, well-regarded and well-respected, and doesn't seem to be a problem. I'm sure he wants to start. But what happens if you're hurt in week three, Baldy? Do we discount the backup quarterback position too much on a Super Bowl-caliber team? Wouldn't it be making a huge mistake? Well, you're talking about would you rather have Nate Sudfeld, who started very few games in this league, maybe one, and has bounced around to this fourth team right now. He's bounced around this league. Would you rather have Nate Sudfeld or Jimmy G? If something happens to Trey Lance, like, so to me, it's, it's not even, it's not even an argument. I understand that the financial need, Sean, right. To get your quarterback out there that you drafted with the third pick on a rookie contract. And you mentioned, you know, all the contracts that they've given out to Debo and to Kittle and to Trent, to Fred and to, you know, to Nick and what they got to pay Nick. I mean, you're talking about, five of the highest paid contracts and the highest paid contract at their positions. I understand the financial aspect. Let's try to win this with Trey Lance on a rookie contract, but at the expense of if something happens to him, he got hurt last year. If something happens to him, like does this whole thing collapse. And let me ask you this. Finally, is Jimmy Garoppolo starting quarterback in the league? Yes. I think right now I could, I, I feel very comfortable, comfortable saying he's better than at least, four or five game day starters. I don't have to name the teams right now because I don't want to say anything bad about some of the, ro- the rosters right. that are out there. But he's better than f- at least four or five day one starting quarterbacks in this league right now. He'd be an upgrade, and the team would be better with him in here. 